Hey everyone, welcome to Kailani. Um, I thought I'd post this picture. Some of you have been asking what the um, interior of this boat looks like. So I'll give you a little tour. So here we are walking out of the cockpit down into the galley. It's super windy out right now. So hopefully I'll try to keep the camera really still. Um, we'll swing around to the left. Here is the galley. So it's got a sink. Um, here's the ice box. I can open it up. Lots in there. Um, I don't have it cold right now, but it's uh, actually six cubic square feet, so it's quite large. A uh, nice gimbaled uh, propane two burner element and stove. So when you're out at sea, it will actually, uh, I've got it locked right now, but it will actually um, turn so you can still cook while you're out sailing. Cupboard space, prep area area where I have my dishes. Lots of light, lots of windows that all of them open up, which is really cool. Um, little pantry here. Every sailor's delight, coffee mate. Ah, everyone's got to have the uh, sailing for dummies. You just never know when you might want to have to crack that puppy out. Um, seating area here, walking to the bow of the boat. Um, to the left is the um, little dry storage area like jackets some foul weather gear laid in there um, then heading to the v-berth so this is the um the bow of the boat um lots of storage keep towels and stuff there little drawer um here's the bed and then i love the uh, skylight oh sorry it's really bright I look right outside cozy and coming back into the saloon and then here is the um, the head. Nice to have a closed door. Um, lots of room, lighting, skylight, and of course, got to have a sign. Um, lots of cupboard space, and uh, this door will actually flip over the other way, so you can close off the beam for privacy if you like. Um, here is another couch. This actually folds out into a bed for two so the specs on this boat say that it sleeps six so um i think it would be a little tight but doable um more space in here where i keep um just all my tools and towels and the winches and stuff and over to the left here in the aft is another bed this is actually a queen size bed so lots of lots of room for two um window up above for light that bag hanging down right there is just to um Absorb the moisture works really well. Little nav station here. Open it up. Got all my documents, licenses, and uh, my little logbook that I try to keep up to date with. Um, VHF radio, handheld. Uh, got my um, Garmin here for um, when I'm out cruising. And then down here is um, under the stairs, actually, is where the engine is. Let's back up. So you just pull that forward. It is a um, Volvo Penta 18 horsepower two banger. Runs on diesel. Um, awesome. <laughs> diesel goes forever. I've actually only had to fill it up twice. Um, there is all of my um, batteries and everything here. So it's ACDC. Um, definitely a learning curve when I first bought this boat, how to work it all. Hence my notes there. And one thing I did put in myself after the boat was the. Um, electric bilge pump and the voltage meter so I can actually see what my batteries are doing when I am out of anchor and um, down here this little hose on the floor that is actually my s-bar heater so if we come over here here's a little dial right here and right now it's 15 degrees in the boat and um, yeah it turns on within five minutes a whole boat heats up really fast it runs off diesel so um it's nice when you're actually out on um, an anchor or out cruising you can keep the heat on um and then i just have a little space heater on the floor here that i use um when i'm not on the boat just to kind of keep things warm and dry and that is it thanks for checking out kailani she's a 30 foot cs sloop and um love sailing her learning lots and uh thanks for checking it out fair winds